With fresh doubts about his credentials, Labor MP Barry Urban is dealing with the fallout from the fake metal scandal in his own Darling Range electorate. This sign, calling for him to resign immediately, was posted at his electorate office in Byford. There it is right there. We are going to bring in our Pulse guests now for their take on it. Joining us today, swimming legend Shelley Taylor-Smith and leadership coach Linda Wayman. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hello. Happy summer. Yes, and happy Friday. Shelley, what do you think? Should he resign? Well, I'm the daughter of a police... Uh a daughter of a policeman and Navy and I understand the amount of work they do for the community and I understand, um, you know, they've been kicked in the guts and how much they actually work for those medals, let alone uh, those qualifications and to where that uniform stands for something in the community. Respect, honour and sometimes it's putting their body on the line before their family and their community. So out. Yeah, it certainly has upset a lot of people mm. in the community, yeah. let alone his own electorate. Yeah. Linda, now his family's been dragged into it. What do you think? Well, I think that's pretty low yeah. rent to drag your family in. I don't think that's great at all. I think that's awful. Uh, and uh, he should be held responsible, but it's not his family who should suffer in any way. Absolutely. Mm, I think most yeah. people will agree with you there. Yeah. All right, how is this for a moral dilemma? And one with a ticking clock. A 70-year-old man with a history of illness was brought into a Florida hospital with a do not resuscitate tattoo and an inked signature. A gag tat or a real request? What a dilemma that is. Shelley, it's literally a life and death decision. What would you do? Well, you know, our, you know, the thing, the, the greatest gift you can give in life is the gift of life. And I've saved many out in the oceans, in Bali, in Western Australia. And, um, you know, if it was, it's in English. I can understand that. Do not resuscitate. But how about when we go to other foreign lands and we don't speak their language? Um, what about if they're, you know, the, the um, what's the little bracelet they wear, Linda? You know, and they have there and they say they're allergic to certain yes, substances. Yeah, the medical bracelet. Yeah. 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 I mean, you yeah. know, what's, you know, um, my mum passed away, but, you know, they spent 75 minutes on her and she was able to give three organs away at 73 so oh. I think you know there's a moral dilemma yes but you know deep down in our heart we want to do our best for our fellow man yeah uh, well yeah Linda mm. there, there is a lot to consider here you're quite right there Shelley so including potentially getting sued for trying to do the right thing I don't know yeah. Linda how would you decide what to do well I think if the if the man has gone to all that trouble to get a yeah. tattoo I think he obviously believes uh, strongly about the fact that uh, he doesn't want to be resuscitated, yep. particularly if he has got a history of illness. So I think that the tattoo should be honoured. It, it may have been a joke, though. It, it might have been a, a joke. Well, well, you know that that's a that's a that's a <laughs> costly. Costly exercise. Yeah, I think it was a joke. Well, to put that people have had worse then tattoos. He... People have had worse tattoos. <laughs> if he's that dumb, let, then let's... maybe he deserves to die anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's well and truly tr tr time to move on from this one. <laughs> While I, a lot of people take pride in their gardens, it turns out some have pretty strong mm. feelings about others' yards as well. One took the time to write down some constructive criticism for a Balladura homeowner, telling him in a note, your property is a disgrace and you should be ashamed. He also called him a filthy pig. Shelley, would you offer a neighbour some feedback? Absolutely. Um... You know, there's, there's two ways to look at this. It swings both ways, doesn't it, Linda? Yeah, you know, you think, well, hang on a minute. If you're a neighbour and this house looked OK or looked great, you think, hmm, maybe they're struggling, maybe there's something going on. Uh, can I do the neighbourly thing and uh, can I have your back, mate? Can I help you out? But then the other thing is maybe they are new and they have no idea about gardening. Hello? <laughs> and I got a lovely knock on the door and said, could you pick your weeds up because uh, you're making our garden look terrible. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, it's leaves. I'd had my godmother, you know, I'd had my goddaughter's uh, husband just die. Mm. I had, oh. you know, I had... I had it's a bit other... harsh. But it's yeah, also a bit of a similar. harsh way to word that note. I mean, how do you think you'd react to getting mm. a note like that, Linda? I don't think I'd like it very much at all, being I'd called be a filthy pig. I'd be really, pig. really upset. And I don't consider being called a filthy pig constructive criticism. No. I think that's just plain, downright nasty, again. Um, Not so neighbourly. Maybe, maybe they, these, this guy lives next to Barry Urban. 
Um... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, you two. Let's wrap it up. Thank you very much. Some good opinions, though, and thank you for joining us on this Friday. Okay. Shelley and Linda, we'll see you again right. soon. See ya. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.